Lesson 1, Exec and SB Execute SQL. Part 1, Exec Command. The Exec Command has two uses, to execute a stored procedure and to execute a dynamic batch. The latter gets a character string within parentheses as an input and invokes that character string as code. I constructed the code within the parentheses of the exec command, but note that only a string variable, a string literal, or a concatenation of string variables and string literals are allowed within the parentheses, you're not allowed to invoke functions or use a case expression. This code produces the error. So it's a good practice to always construct the code in a variable, where such limitations don't apply, and then provide the variable name as input to the exec command. Run the procedure and see result. Part 2. Exec and environmental settings. Environmental settings that are set in a calling batch are in effect for a dynamic batch, but not the other way around. Because a change in database context in the inner batch has no effect on an outer batch, the output is car transactions and not master. Environmental changes in the dynamic batch are in effect for the dynamic batch itself. Therefore, this code returns the output master. Similarly, such changes are in effect for levels in it of the dynamic batch, such as a nested level of dynamic SQL. Part 3. SB Execute SQL Command. The SB Execute SQL command is more flexible than exec, because it has an interface, which supports both input and output parameters, 
This capability allows you to create query strings with arguments that can reuse execution plans more efficiently than exec. The components of SB Execute SQL are very similar to those of a stored procedure, with the difference being that you construct the code dynamically. Those components include a batch of code, parameter declaration section, and a parameter assignment section. Notice that now, instead of concatenating the contents of vcar, this code defines an input parameter called vcar name. The code defines vcar name as a Unicode character string input in the params section, and it assigns the contents of vcar from the calling batch to vcar name in the params assignment section. Run the procedure twice, each with a different parameter. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit Learn with Video Tutorials.com